Grace today from City Field, outside of City Field, trying to define what love is. And, and uh, we're seeing that love is an action. Last time as we considered a definition of love, we saw that you can have infatuation, you can have affection, right? You can have attraction. And, and those things come and go, they're feelings. But love, biblical love, is uh, an action that acts towards the other person's well-being with no thought of return. Uh, and I wanted to come here because we're going to talk about another little aspect of what love is, and that is that love is a choice, right? Love is a choice. I've been in Queens for about 12 years, and uh, this year I made the switch, right? I've been a Cubs fan for the last 30 years, and so I still have a lot of affection for the Cubs, and I love them. But this year I chose to start to cheer and to root for the Mets, and so I've been following them, right? Got a a good uh, Mets hat to, to cover my bald head and um, have been following them when I can. Not a great fan, but but I'm coming. And the other day, it was interesting, someone mentioned, last week I think it was, that the, that the Mets were on a tear and something jumped within me. I couldn't help it. it was it, I, I uh, My affection was stirred. It's something that would not have happened before this year. I was excited uh, to hear that. And, uh, and I think that illustrates something that's very important with regard to love. Right, we choose uh, to love. Love is a choice. The emotions and feelings usually follow the choice, but the first uh, responsibility is to love. This is especially true of spouses. We choose to love our spouse uh, for life. So of course, we have the, the affections and the attraction are, are there. But to be honest, even if your spouse is extremely lovable, there will be days where you will have to choose to love them. Uh, some people say, well, I fell out of love. No, you, you, you did not wake up one day and fall out of love. You chose to stop loving a person. You can, you can wake up one day and fall out of bed, but you can't wake up one day and fall out of love. Because uh, love is a choice. Biblical love is a choice. Let's just expand this a little bit as we think about developing loving relationships, right? We, we are responsible to choose to love uh, everyone, right? To, to love those at church or the community. And, and there are a lot of people who are not very lovable. Um, and we choose to love them. Along with that, I would say that consistent love is only possible through God's grace. God can give us the grace to love on a daily basis. Uh, so choose to love today. Uh, love one another. Continue to love one another by God's grace living through.